So we just had the building inspect around the other day and uh, there's a few things which uh, I thought I'd go through because it might be handy and this video is about uh, where you put your damp proof course if you're doing a suspended timber floor and I'm not saying that this is the only way to do it there's probably dozens of way of doing it but this is one way if you're a bit confused about it as I was to be honest I looked at lots of details on the internet most of them are different and a lot of them didn't match what I was doing so you can see in the other video we discussed uh, timber floors there's a link to that in the description um, and you can see uh, we'll go along a bit here further down in here of course we can't see anything no, I'll move this there you go that's better isn't it that's better isn't it so there you go there's our vent down there and that goes through the wall and out the other side through the vent brick and um, there's a hole down here where the where it vents in or out and the air flows both ways I guess and then we've got another one on the other side uh, where that's where you put your brick now you should make those a bit proud of the brickwork really so they're flush with the render when you're finished but uh, I'm all out of patience and uh, that's the only really way I could get it to work so there you go so, so we'll start from the top down which is a bit counterintuitive but this piece of um, damp proof membrane here is like a, a kind of uh, what you, some people might call a tray so it's like a, a sloping uh, damp proof membrane which goes over something like a, a window opening at the top when we're up to our windows we'll have trays above those as well and over this opening here we've got a, a tray as well because um, if water is trickling down through the cavity you have to imagine the water trickling down there probably won't be any um, it will hit this tray and flow out so I've got some over the other side which I've um, done the block work for so we'll just have a quick look at those to see how it will go so this this tray I mean some of these are rigid trays but you can use just um, flexible uh, uh, damp proof membrane which is fine so that will be um, uh, cemented into place along here with more blocks and as you can see when it's finished we'll have this sloping angle and if anything trickles down the cavity it will hit this and be pushed onto the outside skin and not soak through the inside skin and get us all soggy so that's a good thing now something I wasn't expecting was um, when the building inspector came round he was he said um, you can see uh, we can see it in the corner here that um, I put in a damp proof course below the timber okay on the inside skin and then on the outside skin oh yeah all we have to do is just turn around like this will yeah I put one up about one I put one one block higher because um, at the back of the house that's uh, 150 mil above ground level roughly so we've had to carry that on all the way around I mean I don't know whether that's the way you do it but it's the way I've done it and uh, like I say the building inspector's been round he seems happy with it so um, that's a good thing and um, yeah so what the building inspector said he said we'll put another damp proof course um, at this level so we've got We've got the two damp proof courses next to each other, which are on the same level, which is fairly standard. When my dad was building houses when I was growing up, this is how he would do it, because I can remember seeing it, you know, when they were being built. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we've got we've got on the inside leaf, we've got two damp proof courses. We've got one below the wood and one above it. Um, so I suppose that's useful for something or other. Uh, I mean, perhaps that would stop your inside floor getting wet if um, you had uh, water trickling down the inside leaf and soaking into your timber. No, you can't do that because um, now you've got damp proof course in the way. 
So you'd have to have some really crazy stuff going on for that to do anything. Anyway, I just do what the guy tells me because uh, I like an easy life and um, and that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, so we've got two layers on the inside leaf and one's on the outside. And um, I've kept it the same level all the way around. You could probably step it if you wanted to. And um, yeah, you have to just be watch your um, the um, uh, the brick vent to make sure um, that you have uh, a tray over the top. The brick vents can go above or below the cavity, and in fact, in this case, they're actually. Um, let's see if I can get a, a view down here. No. Oh, there you go. Um, so there's the brick vent there. This one's slumped down. We'll pull it up a bit. Move those snots. And uh, sorry, it's gone all sideways, guys. But you know that's that. So there's there's the brick vent down there again. There's a cavity tray. The reason I didn't go for a tray all the way around, which apparently is the best thing to do, is I was a bit worried about um, when when you're building, you're in a leaf or your outer leaf for that matter, um, the mortar squeezes out of the joint and creates what they call snots and they stick out. And if they're big, they fall off and they go down the cavity. And if you have enough of them, they build up and then they create a bridge across. And that means that damp can track across from the outside to the inside and then you get a damp patch on your wall. So, well, the reason I haven't put trays around all the way is because I can easily poke a piece of uh, two by two timber or something down the cavity as I'm going up and just scrape off that tray either side and so the snots don't build up on it and if I was doing a, a tray all the way around then um, I would uh, wouldn't be able to scrape it off because there'd be nowhere for it to go um, so anyway that was sort of my idea these ones building inspector wasn't mad on them but uh, uh, to me it ticks a box because um, those uh, brick vents they're just uh, waiting to track the moisture across from one side to the other, I think. If, um, But uh, maybe not. Maybe not. So there you go. That's how it's all going at the moment. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Um, and uh, we'll uh, report back in with another, another video. If you want to know anything about building a house, then... Uh, please just ask because uh, either I can answer it or my um, dad can because he's been doing it for decades so uh, yeah happy happy YouTubing happy building and see you next time cheers